Hey guys, Future Rob here. So I've already completed the project. I just wanted to show you what it's going to look like after we're done with it. We use some really cool CSS techniques to get this page to look really cool and responsive, as well as have some cool 3D effects. So I'm going to give you a walkthrough right now. As you can see, we have our header with some links on it. We have some info right here, as well as a picture with a cool little white border. We have some more small pictures, but when you hover over them, They'll modify the pictures around them a little bit and as well as push this section down a little bit so all of them do that they also have a transition over half a second to expand to their maximum size we have this section right here which has a cool css style which makes it feel like it has a little bit more depth we have this box right here as well as a button that changes the colors when we hover over it cool thing about this is if you guys follow along you can customize it however you want make it about you and you can also link to other pages that when you click on these links, it'll take you to those other pages. So there's a lot you guys can do here. And yeah, just follow along. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks. Here we'll be doing the landing page. Let's look at the assignment right here. We have looks like a template of what we're going to be doing as well as a little bit of CSS to help us out. Let's open VS Code and we're going to i'm going to show you a few of the extensions that i'm going to be using i'm already in the directory and the project but first let's get these extensions set up first one's going to be live server so this one's really nice i'd highly recommend it you just press install and it's already good to go that's all you have to do i'll show you how to use it in a minute next one's going to be prettier and it's just this first one going to install that this one's going to take a few settings to get set up let's go file preferences settings the first one search for format and just want to make sure that prettier is enabled right here and then that this check mark is selected right here for format on save next one we're going to search for is prettier right here we're going to scroll down and make sure make sure that this is selected and we're going to come down here to require config make sure that this one's selected close out of these these ones are good to go we're going to create our file first one is index.html we're going to do our shortcut exclamation point enter and that's already set up next one's going to be styles.css i'm not going to do anything with this one yet grab one more this one's going to be called reset.css what we're going to do in here is uh, we're going to Google a reset style sheet. What happens is there's already some pre-applied CSS to our HTML and we're going to want to go through and just remove all of that pre-applied styling and that'll allow us to set our own styles and customize it how we want to. We're going to do one more file. It's going to be called dot prettier RC like that. In here, all we're going to do is put a set of brackets like that and press save save reset save styles and save index close we're going to google reset css it's going to be this first one right here we're just going to copy all of this let's go back into our project we're going to go to reset we're going to paste save and then let's close out of reset now we just need to import those into our html We'll just go right here below the title. First one is going to be link. So the order of this really matters. We want to do a reset first, and then we'll do our styles afterwards. If you do styles first and then reset, the reset's going to erase all the styles that you have in, in your style sheet. So make sure you do reset first and then styles. Now let's save that. If we right click, we can do open with live server, and it'll just open Right here in a browser let's close that and let's review the assignment real quick the font that's being used is roboto we're actually going to just import this roboto font the easiest way to do that is you could just do google fonts roboto let's select i like this thin 100 one so select this style and what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and that's going to go right below reset and above styles. So paste that, save. Got to grab one more thing. Let's grab this. And that's going to go into our style sheet. 
we want it to apply to everything so let's just go body paste that right there any font that we put in the body is going to have this font family attached to it now we're pretty much ready to go let's go back to what that template looks like we could close out of this we're going to close out of the css we're not going to do the css yet how we're going to tackle this project is let's do all of the html first or at least get it structured how we want we'll go back apply some styling to it and then we'll personalize the html to reflect what we want it to the best way to do that if we want to mimic what what we see here is we're going to split this into several sections the first section we see a header then we see this section right here another section another section another section and then a footer and then we're going to go into each section and split it out into what we see so like for example this one we can see we have an image over here on the right and then we have like a box right here with some text and a button in it let's go into our code i'm going to split this out so that we can see what we're doing as we're coding minimize this it's right here in the body we're going to do a div.header let's do a footer as well so div.footer now there's a shortcut you could do if you do control shift or control alt and press down you'll notice that we have uh, different you'll notice that we have different cursors right here so if we do div dot section it'll write it out four times for us so let's save that and now let's do section one section two section three section four save now we got the main sections split out so let's dive into each section a little bit more and add the html that we want there so if we're looking at the header we can see we have a header logo over here on the left and then three links over here on the right. So, so let's do the header logo first. So let's do a div.header logo like that. And then this one's just going to be coding with Rob. Save that. And then over on the right, it looks like we have three links. So let's do a div.links. And in each link, we're going to have Let's do a span with a class of header link like that. And this is going to be header link. So let's just copy and paste this two more times and save. And then let's just do one, two, and three. Save. If we come over to here, we should see coding with Rob header link one, header link two, header link three. Let's grab these spans and let's actually change these to divs. And then we're gonna make these anchor tags. We're gonna make this guy an anchor tag as well. So another cool trick is if you hold control and press D, you can select all of these at once. So let's just delete those and put divs like that. And then we're also gonna do our handy shortcut that we saw earlier. We're gonna do control alt or control shift down control shift and we'll select all of these cut them let's do an anchor tag with let's do hl for header link and then we're not going to put an href in here but we are going to paste these guys back in let's do the same thing for this let's copy or cut this out let's do an anchor tag with the header link there's no href either on this one paste here save and then we should see all those up here if we click on them nothing happens but we just want it to look like something could happen if you clicked on it. I think that's all the HTML we need for the header. Let's move on to the next section. In this section, like we saw earlier, it looks like we have pretty much two halves. We have this image over here as well as some text and a button over here. Let's do a div.section1, so S1, and then let's do text. And in here, let's do an H1 with the class of section1, header1. And let's do this website is awesome under the header one and let's add a header four the class of section one header four this is some text we'll come back later and add some more personalized text there let's save that and we see it pop up over here okay, let's go under the section one text let's add a button with the class of section one etn for button let's do sign up now we save that and we see the button right here we got the text box or the text section right here. 
let's do the other half right here. It's going to be a div with a class of section one image. And then let's just do div. In here, we're going to do an image with a class of section one image like that. We don't have a source yet, but we can put an alt right here. Let's just do placeholder. And let's save that. We should see, yeah, like this broken image icon and placeholder. If for some reason the image didn't load, this is what people would see if they loaded into your web page. I think that's all we need for section one. So section two, it looks like we have some text and then like a row of boxes with text under the images. We're gonna do a header one with a class of section two, header one. And this is random info. Let's make this all in one section and then we'll split out each subsection of that. The div, let's just call them boxes. On this section, we're gonna have four separate boxes. So let's just do div.box. Each box, we have an image with some text. So we're gonna do a div with a box one container. Let's do an image with a class of section two box image like that. Once again, we don't have a source yet, but we'll put it in all the placeholder like that. And then under the container, this is where we'll have our text describing the image below that. Under that, let's do an H5 with a class of box one to so B1 info placeholder text. We should see that over here. We have placeholder, placeholder text. I think that looks good. Let's just copy this box three more times. One, two, three. And we should see those pop up over here. And I think that's all we need for section two. So let's move on to section three. It looks like it's pretty easy. Just a quote with a quote author. Let's go down to section three. We're gonna do an H3 with a class of section three, header three. And we'll do this is a quote. And then under that, let's do an H4 with a class of section three, header four header four and then let's do like the author loki god of mischief like that and i think that's all we need actually for section three let's look at what section four has section four looks like it has a box two lines of text and a button in it grab section four let's do a div with the section four box so we want a div with some headers in it. So let's do section four HS for headers. Let's do an H1 of don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's do an H2 below that with leave a comment below. Over on the right, we have a button. So let's create that. We don't want it in the headers. So we'll do it right here. Let's do a button with the class of section four BTN like that. We see it pop up over here after we press save. And then we have just our footer left. We're just going to write the text. So let's do not really copy I did at coding with Rob 2022. Save that and we should see that right here. Okay, so that's pretty much the structure of the HTML that we want. In the next video, we'll be applying CSS to everything, get it, get it looking responsive and clean and how we want it to. And then we'll come back and personalize the HTML text and add images so that we can finalize the landing page. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.